so it probably it is the first video on youtube that explain the 36 dimensions of our universe according to m theory now we'll quickly derive the 10 dimensions if you want to know much details then videos are linked in the description so let's quickly start in now if you treat the point as the zero dimension then the line is first dimensional and the area is second dimensional and the volume is third dimensional and then the time is four dimensional now if you travel in space in your own universe which means teleportation that is the fifth dimension and if you travel in time in your universe then it is the sixth dimension and if you travel in space in the parallel universe then it is the seventh dimension now if you travel in time in the parallel universe or the other universe then it will be the 8 dimensional and if you can observe the starting and big ending of our universe even before our physical loss started to happen then you experience the 9th dimension and in the 10th dimension you could do anything you are God. Now here we derive the 10 dimension and now we will derive the rest 26 dimension and complete our 36 dimensional M theory. Now string theory is a member of M theory. So it states that all matter is made up of tiny little strings and the mass and charge and spin is described by their vibrations. So we will not go at that details but we will use the fact that it is quantized to find the number of dimensions so let's imagine there is a string now if you plug in one direction that it will vibrate at a frequency of one and if you plug at two directions then it will vibrate in the frequency of two and in n directions if you plug then it will have a frequency of n here you notice that the n frequency is the multiple of original frequency or omega n is equal to n omega naught so if you know Planck theory you will know that energy is quantized or energy for the string is equal to the Planck constant multiplied by its frequency of vibration or energy is equal to reduced Planck constant which is h by 2 pi into the angular frequency here angular frequency is considered because we are talking of the circular string so the energy of the nth string will be h bar omega n plus half h bar omega naught now as you can see on the screen omega n is equal to n omega naught so the total energy is the summation running over n equal to 0 from 0 to infinity of e n so that will be equal to e 0 plus e 1 plus e 2 plus dot 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 now that will equal to h bar omega naught summation of n plus 1 by half now notice if you factor of the one half factor now the summation becomes the sum of all odd natural numbers so the total energy will be half omega naught h bar multiplied by the sum of all odd numbers so we can derive that the sum of all odd natural number numbers is 1 by 12 so we get that the total energy is h bar omega naught over 24 now you can interpret at this as this way if the energy in one direction of vibration is h naught over 24 then the vibration in d dimensions will be d by 24 h bar omega naught now if you know that 
in string theory we quantify the matter so we expect that energy is equal to h bar omega not as we considered earlier so d by 24 should be 1 or d is equal to 24 now for the vibration especially of strings we need 24 extra dimension and now imagine a rope from a tall mountains two tall mountains from one end to another end now if you look from far away if an ant is crawling over the rope then you can represent a state by the displacement it covered in time t but in the ant perspective the rope is two dimensional so there are two dimensional especially for the strings now for only for the strings there are overall 26 dimensions and 10 dimensions we considered earlier so 26 plus 10 become 36 now this is the 36 dimensional theory hope you like the video and this is the only video on youtube that explains all the 36 dimensions keep supporting 